In this video, I want to share six biohacks, six specific techniques for you to learn faster. Hi, my name is Roxy and I'm super excited to have you here on my video on biohacking in order to learn faster. If you think you can't teach an old dog new tricks, then I'm sorry, but you're wrong. My oldest client is 84 and neuroplasticity, so the ability of the brain to rewire itself, it persists until we die. So it is possible. The only difference is that kids learn faster. Why? Because they're used to it. They're learning all the time and we often, we kind of have a barrier that we put up ourselves because we think we can't learn this that fast. But actually, if we know how to leverage neuroscience, if we know how to leverage biohacking, then we can learn just as fast. So by the way, if you're thinking, where is she? What is she doing? Why is she sitting on a weird bed? Then, well, I'm on a ferry right now because I was traveling Europe for two months coaching. And I'm on the ferry back to Mallorca where I live. And I thought, hey, why not use this time to film a YouTube video about biohacking? So let's look at what modern neuroscience has found. So actually there are three basic neurotransmitters involved in our brain when we're learning. These are acetylcholine, noradrenaline, and dopamine. These are mainly involved. Acetylcholine is released when we focus, when we have deep focus. Noradre noradrenaline is released when we have mild stress. And dopamine is our feel-good response when something worked out. If these three neurotransmitters are released together, and if this is repeated in the ideal mix at least three times, then learning takes place. These three neurotransmitters essentially amplify the communication between our neurons in our brain to fire together, to wire together. So if you know this, then we can use this knowledge in order to leverage it and in order to learn faster. So how do we create this optimal mix of these three neurotransmitters? It's important to know that what invigorates one person may be, may be overwhelming for another. So it's really important for you to find out what works for you. However, I have six specific tips for you in this video. Tip number one is that you need to create a deadline or you need to create a very specific motivation. This triggers the release of noradrenaline and that is our stress hormone. It creates just the right amount of sympathetic tonus which is needed to enable neuroplasticity and in order to make our brain ready to learn and to change. Tip number two is having brief and frequent sessions rather than having infrequent and long sessions. Just like you wouldn't water your garden once a month for five hours. You would probably spread out those five hours into at least five one hour sessions or even shorter sessions. That'll keep your garden greener. And exactly the same applies to learning. You don't need to spend more time, you just need to spread out the time more evenly and you'll have much better results. Why? Because this will keep your acetylcholine levels at an optimum. And here's one thing that you can use in addition to keeping your acetylcholine levels at an optimum is to actively release dopamine. How can you do that? By rewarding yourself intermittently for what you've achieved. Dopamine is like a glue. It'll glue in what you've learned. It'll glue those new neurons which have connected. And also it's a buffer for adrenaline, so it literally makes you unstoppable. Tip and hack number three is adding variation and adding play to your practice. A study by John Hopkins University, which I'm going to be linking below, showed that people learn skills in half the time. So double as fast when they vary their practice sessions. So play around and practice in different situations and in different ways. 
tip and hack number four is using visualization and something that I call feelization. So imagining what the movement on your bike feels like, how it looks like, and practicing in your brain without actually practicing on your bike. Several studies have shown that this is really effective and can enhance learning immensely. Tip number five is take breaks, meaning you don't want to over practice, you can literally over practice. So take breaks, practice in small chunks and trust in the process that learning happens during rest. So learning happens during sleep, during meditation or du during other tasks. So not exactly during the practice. So taking breaks is so important. And biohack number six is actually the biggest one and it's super underrated. And that is attaching your reward not to the outcome, but to the effort. So if you don't really see the outcome you wish, but you're still agitated because you've been practicing a lot, then reward yourself for exactly this. Reward yourself for working hard and tell yourself, hey, I am going into the right direction. Every session makes me stronger and makes me better, even if I can't see it right now, because this again releases dopamine, which is the glue and the buffer, and it makes you continue. This is actually a really important biohack to know that you're headed into the right direction if you are agitated. Agitation is the entry point to change. It's important to know that neuroplasticity only occurs if there are errors. So if you are committing errors, then be grateful and say, okay, now I know I'm committing errors. So just the awareness of committing errors alone is a huge learning opportunity for your brain. And it's like a gate. It's the entry point to change. To sum them up, here are my six biohacks for you. Number one, create a deadline or someone you want to prove the skill to. Number two, brief frequent sessions rather than long in infrequent ones. Number three, change the way you practice to learn it faster, so play. Number four, several studies have found that visualization really helps, and I also call it feelization. Number five, take breaks and trust into the process. Just like a snow dome needs to settle, so does your brain. And number six, the biggest hack is attach your sense of reward to effort, not to the outcome. Thank you so, so much for watching. Leave a comment below how you liked this video and how these biohacks worked for you. And see you again for my next video. Goodbye.